Moments of instant justice. Solid enough compilation, let's see. I've always wanted to watch one of these. And laugh at the pain of others getting what they deserve. This is really what it means. It's by Cube Hub, and I'm pretty sure they do quite a few compilations. So let's see if this is any good. Instant justice. In life, there are moments in which justice is swift and satisfying. And when they get caught on camera, it can be amazing to watch. When a city inspector completely disregarded the yellow tape, he accidentally ruined days of painstaking work. But as he tried to flee the scene, karma came knocking. Wait, he, he's going into another one. <laughs> a known fact amongst corner properties owners is that, is that they are more susceptible to littering. After a man treated a family's home as their personal garbage can, they decided to take revenge by placing a DIY fence. What the hell was that? A DIY fence that didn't This really lady do did much. not only throw a coffee out of the window, but apparently her driving skill as well. Why is there so many camera angles over there? Why did they throw a coffee out of the window? Who's the, this time is seeming that that? But apparently her driving skill as well. Okay, she threw it. Why is he recording his himself? Why is that angle also there? Some people think the world revolves around them, but this jaywalker took it a whole new level by not only crossing illegally, but also staring at the driver. As it jaywalking is not a crime. What? This is, how is this a crime? I know. <laughs> Some walking. people think the world revolves around them, but this jaywalker took it a whole new level by not only crossing illegally, but also staring at the driver as if he was doing something wrong. A convenient that, that was nothing. <laughs> yep. cop an unfortunate timing moment happened when a road rager went to brake check a car and proceeded to flip him off just to see the two police officers are right beside him. Why did you do that? <laughs> In probably that one of the most satisfying good, instant dude. justice moments ever, a biker noticed two friends littering a parking lot, despite having a trash can nearby. And well, he decided to pick the trash up and ask them if they lost something. Oh, wow. That's good. A lady asked them if they lost something. He threw it into he the car. He got instant karma at a floating bridge when she tried pulling a joke on the people stuck. Oh, no. After contractors <laughs> no, no. completed a full patio remodel for a home, the owners failed to compensate them for their hard work, leaving them owed $7,000. And with months of no response, the landscape workers took oh, matters wow. into their own hands. Surely it's not legal still. <laughs> like, yeah, revenge. But <laughs> surely you can't just fucking Stealing a parking spot may be grounds house. for retribution. This Jeep owner had his towing equipment handy and costed the BMW a parking ticket. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Wait, where? Did the guy in the car just not bother doing anything about it? Why? Why is this? What? Scammers never prosper. Despite vintage candy dispensers being easy to outwit, sometimes luck is simply not on your side. Uh. Oh, uh. <laughs> Car communities tend to be tight-knit. When a pickup truck attempted a pit maneuver, his friends noticed and trapped the truck until the police arrived. Hmm? What? When a man was getting arrested in Louisiana, a police officer was seen planting what appears to be illegal substances right next to the subject. Little did he know that he was being recorded. Oh, what is that? After a driver cut a woman off, the man in the truck noticed and decided to go extra slow. He almost hit us trying to cut into us. And now the guy in front of us is going so slow and she's tailgating him and getting pissed and it is the greatest insta karma ever! Coming out swinging at a reporter right in front of a police station is never a good idea. You need to get arrested for assault, man! 
I don't see you in here, but... I didn't touch him! Palms together. Why are you guys Palms doing together. this? I didn't touch him! Even though audio can't be played for copyright Quite reasons, nice. some boatgoers were playing music extremely loud in the lake. It has <laughs> regulations banning loudspeakers and amplified music devices. And after many requests from nearby houses to turn the music down, oh, two wow. guys had enough. <laughs> oh, they're just so... <laughs> A CCTV Angel's camera back. showed a FedEx delivery man being a little too carelessly with people's packages. But well, his actions did have consequences. <laughs> he just fucked him perfectly. Running a red light and cutting in front of a cop is a sure way to get some points off your license. Cats are natural predators, so their instinct to hunt is deeply ingrained. But the bird's owner luckily had his back. Oh wow. That's, Towing that's doesn't only fly to cars. Right? This boat owner left his vessel unattended for weeks, blocking a waterway, which resulted in most likely complete Holy. destruction. That is man. <laughs> that thing just picked up a fucking. Convenience store owner phone. who found but... himself a victim of a thieving spree decided that he had enough and told the employees to lock the doors and leave the store as soon as their leading suspect comes in. And well, the plan worked perfectly. And minutes <laughs> later, the police arrived. Oh wow. Yeah, that's quite funny. A pool dunk is almost always a bad experience for the one being thrown in the water. But in an unexpected plot twist, the consequences were reversed. Oh, oh you did come back. How do you not think of that? Even though cops sometimes get bad reputation. Some outstanding policemen helped a woman set up a sting operation to get back her bicycle, and she found it listed for sale in Facebook's marketplace. Oh, so wow. when the thief took the bike to make the sale with the buyer, he got a special surprise. Okay, this one didn't quite get to the point in which justice was made, but the Mercedes owner stopped right on its tracks after he realized that his actions might have expensive uh, consequences. That's quite fun. Luckily, no one was hurt, but a CCTV caught a hilarious moment of two men trying to steal a bicycle, but completely failing in the process. I already want that. I already just steal one. That's such a stupid way to steal a bicycle, but... Like, you're quite clearly seen. A waitress attempted workers' compensation fraud after being fired by claiming they asked her to carry heavy things, causing her injuries, and even had a doctor stating that her injuries were so extensive she couldn't lift more than two pounds. But, well, the restaurant hired a private investigator who caught her at the grocery the right store picking 40 pounds of dog food. The restaurant had a private investigator for that. Really? Like, Among we other things, else to do about that. This man had an expensive lesson when trying to litter a lake. When a BMW Dude, driver was nice. doing donuts in a freshly painted parking lot, he somehow managed to hit the only obstacle in his way. Did he even hit that? It doesn't look like he hit it, he just stopped. Oh, man. How are you that stupid? Not sure what would have been the best case scenario, here, but maybe not a good idea to spook the person carrying your hot coffee. When a man was skating recklessly in between a bunch of people, karma eventually caught up to him. Recklessly? I mean, I mean, he's quite skilled. This isn't reckless, but really, at all. But yeah, eventually you ended up falling. What is this? Sometimes flexing can simply go too far. Hush Poppy was a Nigerian man who gained popularity by flaunting his wealth on social media and calling not so nice names to his followers. But even though his flamboyant displays of wealth made him popular on social media, it also drew the attention of the FBI, who started oh. looking into him, just to find out behind the scenes he was a scammer, 
who oh, sent wow. phishing emails <laughs> resulting in half a billion dollars stolen. And when he was going to be arrested, Did they tracked him. Half a billion? Who sent phishing emails resulting in half a billion dollars stolen? Like, why did you say it so casually? Half a billion? In, in phishing emails? Who is he scamming? How is he scamming billionaires or something? How do you get 500 million from him? And when he was arrested, they tracked him down via his Instagram stories to find him at a hotel in Dubai with $40 million billion in cash. Right. This is... After months of investigating and hours of monitoring the gang's social media accounts, a team of highly trained Dubai police officers were able to confirm the gang's whereabouts and fraudulent activities. <laughs> so, uh, compilation. Quite enjoyed it. Lots of moments of instant justice. Good.